Albany State lawmakers say it's time to get students back in the classroom. They'll take a final vote on a bill that requires districts to offer a full in-person option. South Carolina's largest school district has major concerns about this, but parents <laughs> are split. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkel joins us live this morning. She's been talking on all sides and she's live at Eastside High School with a breakdown of what we are learning and what we're hearing. Grace. Well, it's the high schoolers in Greenville County who are the only ones not already back to full in-person learning. We're at Eastside High School this morning where we've been watching this message board flash announcements about end of the year events all morning long. But there could be a big change, a big event coming within just a couple of weeks. If lawmakers pass that bill later today, then all students here could be back for in-person learning by April 26. Now, this is something that the school district is not excited about, but lawmakers say this is necessary because so many students' grades are suffering this year and they need to finish the semester up in the classroom in order to get back on track. Now, we reached out to the district to get their side and they say they just don't have enough space to social distance all the students at the same time. Plexiglass shields will have to come down to make room for normal desk rows. That's something some parents are worried about too, but one mom tells us her daughter will be excited about it. Ready to see school back five days, um, events and things like that. Hopefully this last quarter of school they can at least get a little bit of what feels like ninth grade. So we're introducing all this change. Students from a developmental perspective, they've gotten used to their schedule and what they're doing. So now we're saying, let's go change all this up. Um, it just doesn't feel right. Now we wanted to find out more about the district's plan to transition back into the classroom so your students could actually start seeing changes as soon as Monday. A spokesperson is telling us that that is when, actually tomorrow is when they're going to start going into classrooms and removing those plexiglass shields, putting the desks back into normal rows. So that's something that you might want to look out for. And of course, we're going to be following the vote today very carefully, so make sure you stick with us for the latest details. Back to you absolutely paying close attention to this and we all know that the precautions are going to be taken but i just guess you know parents really having to adjust as these as all of these plans change parents students teachers staff everybody so we're watching it thanks so much grace everybody hold on <laughs>